Hey everyone, welcome back to my React tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a wavy root transition in React.js. Before proceeding further, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more such tutorials. So, without any further ado, let's get started. First, we will install the required libraries. Install React Wavy Transitions. Styled components. Styled icons, Evo icons outline. And React root to DOM. Now, open your code editor, and head to src folder. Create a component.js file, where we will create some components for the cards. Import styled from styled components. Let's write the code for container, which will be a styled div. Set width and height to 200 pixels. Set display to flex. Set justify content to center. Set align items to center. Set flex direction to column. Set background color to white. We will supply the value for color property, using the color prop. Set border radius to 10 pixels. For the icon component, set color to inherit. For the label component, set color to inherit. Set font size to 16 pixels. Set margin top to 10 pixels. Lastly, export these components.
Now, create a screen.js file, where we will write the code for the screens. Import React from React. Import all the required icons, from styled icons, evil icons outline. A link to list of all icons will be in description. Just be sure, the names of these icons are in camel case. Import container, icon, and label, from components.js file. Import app.css Create a home screen function, where we will return the components. Create a div element, with class name as parent. Inside it, use the container component, with class name as container. Pass a color of your choice. To its color prop. Inside it, use the icon component, along with the imported icon. Set the value of size prop to 32. Use the label component, to add the label to the card. Copy the container component and its contents, two more times, to create two more cards. Change the icon, and label for each one of them. Now, I will copy the code of home screen for other screens. I am giving a characteristic color, to all icons and labels, on the same screen. Be sure to change the icons and labels. Lastly, export all the screens. Let's write the code in app.js file.
Import React from React. Import Home Screen, About Screen, and Settings Screen from Screens.js file. Import root browser router as router switch and redirect from React router DOM. Import wavy container wavy link from react wavy transitions import app.css file In the app function, return a React fragment. Use the wavy container component. Use the router component, which basically keeps the UI synced with the URL. Inside it, use the nav element, to hold the navigation links for different screens. Create a wavy link component, with class name as wavy link. Set the value of to prop, to the path that you will use for the screen. I am setting the value of wave color prop to the characteristic color of each screen. Type the name of the screen inside the wavy link component. Repeat the same steps for other screens. Let's use the switch component, which renders a root. Use the root component, which renders a component, when its path matches the URL. Set the value of its path prop to the value of two prop, of the wavy link component. Add an exact prop to it. Set the component prop to the respective screen, for that path. Use the redirect component, with its two prop, set to path of landing screen. Lastly, export default the app function. Now, we will write some CSS code, inside app.css. For the body, set background to 
F0, F0, F0. Set display to flex. Set width to 100 view width. Set justify content to center. Set overflow to hidden. For the parent class, set width to 100 view width. Set height to 100 VH. Set display to flex. Set justify content to center. Set align items to center. For the parent classes container classes, not last child. Set margin right to 5 view width. For the nav element, set width to 100 view width. Set display to flex. Set justify content to center. Set align items to center. Set padding top to 25 pixels. For nav elements button elements, that are its direct children, set border, and padding to zero. Set appearance to none. Set font size to 1 rem. Set cursor to pointer. For nav elements button elements, that are not last child. Set margin right to 2 view width. Our basic code for the project is ready. You are free to add any other styling to any of the elements, or components. Let's see the preview. It is looking great. So, that's all for today. Hope you would have enjoyed the tutorial. Please be sure, to drop a like on this video, and subscribe to my channel, for more such tutorials. I will meet you next time, till then, good luck, and peace.